where's disruption going in this continent? And are the set of problems we have uh, changing in a way that it will change what we solve for? Um, or are our problems just the same? For instance, um, there's, a, there's a village in, in the Free State, in Papua. They haven't had water for 15 years. It's a true fact, no water, 15 years. Um, and Papua is not a, an exceptional story, it's a norm, not just for South Africa, but for most of Southern Africa, for instance. So that problem is not one that's going away. Um, so are we, are we, are we solving, where, where's, so what are we gonna be solving for over the next couple of years? And is that going to change what we're currently solving for? I personally don't think that our problems are going to change. I think that our problems are more of opportunities for for the younger generation to to start asking questions of what can I do about this particular problem. Like the example you've just given, you know, for young people, it's just, rather than waiting for the government to come and save us all to come and solve this particular problem, innovators, people that are creative and are thinking outside the box, start asking themselves, how do I solve this problem? At the time I was born in this village, I am now 15, 20, 25, and the same problem continues <coughs> to persist. How long are we going to keep waiting for the government or for some outsider to come and solve this problem for us? So it's not about problems changing, it's about people starting to think and ask the hard questions like, what can I do about it? When I talk of disruption, I talk in terms of personal disruption, right? Think about what you can do for your community, for yourself. What can you do for your country, you know? So if we are sitting and looking in terms of Africa and our problems, like they are going to change or they are going to go away, that's the, that's the wrong approach. I think that's the wrong strategy. We should rather be looking at it like, what can I do as a person, as an individual, to change what is happening in my community? I mean, we shouldn't even be thinking about changing the world, but we need to change the world though. <laughs> but rather start from, right, your immediate environment, what can I do? You know, I think that these things should be taught even from, from, from primary schools, right, up to university levels, because if the school system now, I think I can blame it on the school system, if they keep raising, us and raising our children to to go find a job, to grow, I mean, go to school, get these certificates, and then get a job. No one is going to be thinking solutions. Everyone is thinking a corporate is going to save me, a government is going to give me a job, this person is going to give me a job. But if we are raising innovators right from the young age, they will start thinking, how do we solve this problem? Like, it, 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 it beats my imagination how a problem can persist in a particular environment 15, 20 years ago. No one is thinking, how do I solve this problem? So yeah. I think that, yes, Africa has so many problems. And I don't believe the people, I don't believe in the future of Africa, our problems are huge. But these problems for me are our biggest opportunities. And with the emerging technologies that are happening, uh, coming up and coming to Africa, if, if, to say, these technologies are only in the West or in Asia or not happening in Africa, then we can say there's no future for Africa. But because the internet is our greatest gift, you know, that has happened to Africa, you know. The fourth industrial revolution, uh, maybe in the third and the second and all of that happened, Africa did not play a part. I mean, Africa was not on the table, but on the, with the fourth industrial revolutions and the next revolution that we have, Africa is very much on the table, and I believe that this is our biggest opportunity to start solving this problem rather than hoping it will change. We are the ones to make that change. Yeah. We are the ones to change. Just turn it around. I just want to talk about the money there. Um, Rajiv, FDI into Africa is down. Are we... Are we at a point where specifically coming out of like a global pandemic that's ongoing, um, where that mismatch has, has just been overcome, where disruption meets the moment, um, and we see truly that uh, a, an idea can be microwaved into um, a, a system and, 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 and can be picked up and adopted really, really quickly, um, and is, is, is it working? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I think that one of the things that the pandemic has done for Africa is that it has fast forwarded us into things we otherwise would not have considered, you know, as a continent. Uh, one of those examples would be e commerce and the idea of work, right? So these were things that probably just a couple of years ago. Years ago, so people would look at it like 
why should I work from home? Or why should this company deny this particular service and things like that? But the COVID-19 pandemic has passed forward the entire continent, maybe five years ahead, doing things that those kind of statements would have been relevant, like this is not for us right now, you know, this idea is not viable for us, or for this particular company. So I don't think that any company should be speaking that kind of language at this point, or anybody or that matter should be speaking that kind of language at this point, because with the pandemic happening, it means that um, things that uh, certain companies would not have considered, they are now doing it. You know, digitization is something that many organizations were still very much reluctant about digitizing certain services, right? And certain ideas that organizations, maybe even employees, brought them forward. And you know, we look at it like, well, maybe in five years time we'll look at it. But now they're actually looking at those ideas now. So I don't think that as a continent, that, that whole idea or that whole language or that whole mindset or that this idea is not viable at this point. I don't think that anyone should be speaking that language. I'm asking your question. Is, is, would you agree with that, Philip? Is, is it the case that we're five years old because of the pandemic that's about 13 months old?